Hi DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today I'm going to be going over can you use motions with a Qolsys IQ Panel 2 or a Qolsys IQ Panel 2 Plus? So simple answer to that is yes, pretty much every security system out there you can use motion detectors with. You just have to make sure that you're getting the correct and compatible motions that will work with your system. Now if you have the IQ2, you can pretty much use any Qolsys motions. Uh, whether they're the normal 319.5 megahertz or whether the, they're the rolling code encryption S-line motion sensors. Um, you can also use interlogic sensors because the daughterboard card that's in the normal IQ2 is a 319.5 megahertz daughterboard card and interlogics uses that same frequency. So you can use any wireless Qolsys or interlogics and uh, the Qolsys S-line encrypted sensors can be used with the normal IQ2. Now, if you have the IQ2 Plus, this is where things get a little more difficult. The IQ2 Plus has a PowerG daughterboard card built in. Every single IQ2 Plus has that. And then it has one other daughterboard card. There's three different flavors. There's a 433 megahertz, which is D DSE. There's a 345 megahertz, which is Honeywell and 2 gig. And then there's the standard one, the 319.5, which is Qolsys and Interlogix. So, depending on which IQ2 Plus you get will determine which wireless motions you can use, or if you're using a wired motion, you just need a wired to wireless converter of whatever brand that the second daughterboard card in the system is. Um, so, for instance, if you guys have the 433 megahertz version of the IQ2 Plus, you guys can use wireless DFC motions. If you guys have the 345 megahertz version of the IQ2 Plus, you can use the Honeywell and uh, 2 gig motion detectors. Uh, make sure if you're using Honeywell, they're not the 6 series encrypted motions. The 6 series encrypted motions can only work with the Lyric alarm system. Um, and then if you have the 319.5, the standard one, it's the same concept that we talked about in the beginning. You can use Qolsys or Neurologix. Um, now, again, remember all IQ2 Pluses have a Power G. That's the main selling point of the IQ2 Plus. So normally, if you're getting the IQ2 Plus, you're going to be getting Power G sensors. First of all, they're fully encrypted. Second of all, they have the most range. They have a range of 2,000 feet. Um, we've tested it, we've pretty much, we've seen people use them at 600 feet and they work perfectly. So when you're using a Power G sensor with an IQ2 Plus, the range is about 2,000 feet. Um, and then if you need to add a repeater on top of that, they have a Power G repeater which doubles that distance. So it's just something to keep in mind when you guys are looking at using motions. Now this is just the wireless motions. What if you have wired motion detectors? Well, you move into a house or um, you're looking at upgrading your system that used to be wired to a wireless system. How do you take over wired motion detectors? Well, good thing about these systems is that pretty much every wireless alarm system out there right now has a converter that actually takes in wired sensors. You can you're still going to keep the wired sensors that are going to remain wired, but the actual signal, whenever they fault, whenever somebody walks by the motion, whenever somebody opens or closes a door or window, that signal, instead of being wired directly to the panel, it's wired to this converter, which sends out a wireless signal to the main IQ2 Plus system. Now, depending on which IQ2 Plus you have, uh, you want to make sure you're using the correct converter. So, for instance, if you're using Honeywell, they have a 5800C2W that takes in nine wired zones and converts them into wireless zones. If you're using the, um, if you're planning on using a two gig converter, they have a, a, a two gig takeover, uh, which takes in eight wired zones and spits them out in two gig 345 megahertz frequency. If you're using the closest converter, it's called the 16F. It takes in 16 wired zones and it spits them out into a Qolsys wireless signal, um, the 319.5, and you can even do S-line encryption as well with that one. Uh, the This 16F is actually the only one, by the way, that will also take over two wire smoke detectors. There are no converters out there right now for these other systems that will take over wired smoke detectors. So if you have wired smokes that are two wire, 
you can actually use the 16F and convert the two wire smoke detectors into wireless smoke detectors. Normally, you don't see this with wireless converters. You normally have to replace the wired smoke detectors if you're upgrading to a wireless system. Uh, so that's something pretty cool about the 16F. And the 16F also works with the standard version of the IQ2 Plus, the one that comes with the 319.5 megahertz. So um, just something to keep in mind. But yeah, you can pretty much use any wireless or wired motion detector uh, that's on the market um, and that's been UL certified with the IQ2 Plus system, whether it's Honeywell, 2GIG, DSC, Interlogix, Quosis, Wired. You just need to make sure that you have the right compatible IQ2 Plus. And if you have any questions on the correct one or if one works with the other, feel free to send us an email to support at alarmgear.com. If you found the video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and hit the little bell icon so that way you enable notifications. Whenever we upload new content, you guys will be notified. I'm George, and I'll see you guys next time.